Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides and watch this video if you want to understand the difference between render and redirect to. The difference between render and redirect to. If you understand the difference, you will be able to become a better Rails developer. And if you don't understand the difference, then you will be confused and see all kinds of strange errors that you don't understand. So watch this video and learn how render redirect to works. Okay, so I have a new Rails 6 application with users. A user's route is the standard um, Root routes with index, create, new, edit, show, update, destroy, right? And I have a very simple new view. So notice this is the view for users new, right? And all it does is it prints the user class, right? If we go here and I reload the page, you can see how we get the user's class as it should, right? If we open the controller, we can see that I'm rendering new, and here's where the user is coming from. So remember that we pass formation between controller and view with instance variables, and that's where this user that's here comes from. Now what happens if we go to this other action to edit, right? Because in here we're rendering new, and this is their new action. So even if we remove this, it will still it will still render new because that's the default to render the same the same view as the action name. But in here we want to render some other view that doesn't match the name of the action. So I'm rendering new. So what will happen? Let's see if you can guess what will happen when I do this. So remember, this is going to render the same view. It's going to render this code right here. So what happens is exactly this. We get nil. We don't get our user class. Now, why does this happen? And this is very important to understand because nil class and the nil object comes up a lot in error messages, right? You've probably seen these error messages says, no method error for nil class. Why does that happen? Well, because you got nil. You got your um, instance variable is nil because it didn't get set. So when we run there, it's easy to think that we are calling this method. We are actually calling new like that. But that's not what's happening. What's happening is we are just rendering the view directly without setting the instance variable. And that's why we see nil class in here. Now there is two solutions to this. One is to just, of course, define the instance variable here. Right, and we get out the user again. So that's the working situation. And we might not want to do that. Uh, maybe what we really want to do is to redirect to another page, to redirect to the new um, action. So to do that, we do redirect to, and now it's a new, user path. Where did I get this from? Well, from the, from right here, new user. And then we add path. Now, when I visit edit, notice what happens. I'm going to reload the page. And now we go back to new. So this is a redirect, which means we are making a new request. It's a new request to the other action. This is like we're sending, we're telling the user browser to go to, to visit another page. And now 
what happens is this is running. So the instance variable is being set and the new view is rendered. So that's the difference, a very important difference between render and redirect to. So render, it doesn't call any other action, it just renders the view. Redirect to, it does this new, new request. It's like the user is typing this URL, basically. Also notice that if we set this here, to some other user or even something else, like for example, we set this to nil. This will not matter when we redirect because the redirect is a new request. It starts over from the route, okay? So you, you can't use this instance variable after you redirect. So that's it. Now you understand the difference between render, which renders within the current action, and redirect to, which basically sends you to another action with a new request. Okay, hope you found this quick video helpful. If you did, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it. If you want to learn more, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.